Oh my god, shall we chase her? Back on um, Beachmont Road. Back where the Yowie cross. Ten foot with from Yowie. Got to just sit here for a bit. I tried um, try getting up that river. It was it was pretty hard to walk up there and. There's some weird noises going on, I don't know. Sound like footsteps behind me and could smell someone smoking in front and thought oh maybe I should just leave. Maybe it's a sign to leave. No, yeah, I'm gonna go <clears throat> I'm gonna go up the road here further. There's I don't know to go into Kalani Glen and jump the fence there or I'll go up further, there's another waterfall up further. I'm not sure. I can't think of the name of it. it. Might be the caves or something. But yeah, there was I'm on on the Yowie forum there the other last night there was talk about Holy shit, what was that? Did you see that? We we'll just talk on there about um the Sasquatch, what is it? So yeah. The video was about like if it they were military were they made for the military and like the Aries, did they were they super you know, crossbreeding them like superhuman people to use in the military, which is pretty smart. And if you watched the documentary the other night on the SBS at eight thirty about the Yeti, the guy actually mentions that I think it was Hitler. Hitler's guys went to the um the Pole or the Himalaya, wherever it is, I don't know. And they were, they were, they were actually looking for the Yeti. So Have they heard about it? This is what, this is what my thoughts are. That, that they've actually heard about the Yeti. And, um, they decided if they could get it, breed it with a human and turn them into super soldiers, maybe. It makes sense. But in saying that, I reckon the Yowie's always been here. I don't think that they ever would just, you know, bred for military I reckon that the military got them maybe got a car maybe got one started breeding with it just to make a super a superhuman fighter because we're at a military camp now ten foot one's been seen here there's been I don't know there's been a few sightings around here there's Tin Cam Bay one. Where my mate lived out of Green Bank. There's an army camp out there. They've seen them. There's been reports out there. Um, where else? I don't know. They're normally around army camps, but there's been a few. But why are they coming here? Have they escaped? Clowns that are building all the bridges and holding me up every time I have to come through here. Yeah, have they escaped from in there? Or have they got relatives in there and they're trying to get them out? Or I don't know, does it just happen to be that there's a lot of bush around here and they like this area and the military like this area to train in? I don't know, it's just a bit coincidental, I think. A bit too much coincidental going on here. I don't know if you can see those rocks up there too, so... Just, those, rods are just, those rocks are just out of place. They're just... I don't know. Why are they there? Just... Uh, I went up there and looked at them in one of my other videos. Actually behind me. I haven't done it yet. I'm being mean to you. But I can see the, the beehives they were talking about. They're down the bottom there. Because there was, there was talk that maybe... You know, 
hairy man's going to get the honey, but I've seen them before and I've never, I've never seen any touch. That's not saying they haven't been. But you'd think if they were that um, whoever owns those hives would be put setting up cameras, you know. Because the, otherwise, old hairy man would be there every day getting a feed of honey, wouldn't he? I don't think he'd be in touch. I've said it before, I think he's more of a, he's a nature lover. He doesn't wreck shit like we do. But I reckon if we got in his way, we might be in trouble or we found an angry one. But yeah, that's just a bit of chat while I'm sitting here. Oh, and also, I'll tell you what I've done. I thought I'd start my own forum. Alright, so I'll have to put the link up on one of these videos. But, um, it's only a free one, so I don't know if you get ads or whatever. I don't know if you just like that crap. You probably don't. I don't know what happens. If you don't like it, just tell me and I'll just delete it. I don't care, but it, it's just somewhere where everyone can go and ride on. Put stuff up. I know you can do it on Facebook. and Well, but sometimes Facebook's hard. It's hard to find stuff sometimes, so... And if you just want any, um, like I've just set it up so far, so it's just got Yowie chat, and it's got um, where you can post your videos. And I was going to add UFOs and any girls. If you want any girls to add it, let me know, and I'll add it to it. That's if you're going to use it. If you're not going to use it, I don't care. I'll just delete it. I'll just keep putting stuff on there anyway. Any that I find interesting, you can go and have a look. But anyway, it's called Yowie Chaser. Create a forum, it's called at the end.com. So I'm pretty sure if you just type in Yowie Chaser, create C R E A T, I don't know if it's an E or an A, forum.com, it might come up. But anyway, I'll put a link up. I'm about to get on that. Alright, I'm gonna end this. I'm getting bored sitting here. There's no Yowies crossing the road. How good would it be if one just crossed right now? That'd be crazy. I don't know, that truck driver, I don't know if he's lucky or not. I reckon he's lucky to see one myself. Probably won't say that when I see one. I'll probably be down awake on mental ward, having nightmares about it. Yeah. Well, I'm now convinced that these animals are pretty smart, or I'm just not in the right spot. I think that's that sign when the wind blows. I'll keep hearing. All right, I'm going to end this, guys. All right, catch us on the next one. See you.